It's already week five, and if you're wondering who to start at the wideout position, look no further. We have the answers for you here. For this, we bring in Sports Illustrated's senior fantasy analyst, Michael Fabiano. Now, Fabs, I peeked at your article already, and you like a certain rookie for your start of the week. Yeah, Jamar Chase is in a good spot. Why? Well, He's got the Packers, and Jair Alexander is injured. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is going to be a smash spot for these Bengals wide receivers. With or without T. Higgins, Jamar Chase should be uh, in your starting lineup. He is a player who has a great rapport, of course, with Joe Burr from the time together at LSU, and uh, that has certainly been the case uh, over the first four weeks in the National Football League together. And the Bengals are 3-1 and one suddenly, right? So uh, even though the matchup may not look great on paper, Alexander's absence makes Chase a very good play. And then... Marvin Jones Jr. Listen, I, I get it. He's not the sexiest name in fantasy football, but Jones and LaVisca Chenault Jr. will both benefit from the absence of DJ Chark. He is out and definitely keep that in mind. And the matchup's very good this week against the Titans. They've allowed the second most fantasy points to wide receivers, including the sixth most to receivers who are lined out wide. So Marvin Jones and LaVisca Chenault should both be in starting lineups this week. I absolutely love both those picks. The matchups are so juicy. Now, Fabs, sometimes with these start sits, it's not always an easy decision. And I noticed in some of your sits this week, there's a few veterans that uh, maybe they're going to be better this week on the bench. And you've got to give people options in terms of sit that they actually are starting for the most part, right? Because then you're not helping anyone. But Odo Beckham Jr. was my start of the week at wide receiver last week. And you know what? He should have had a big game, but Baker Mayfield was terrible. And this week, the matchup is equally as terrible, right? They, they got the Chargers this week. Their defense has allowed one touchdown and the fourth fewest fantasy points to receivers lined out wide. And let's be honest, Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr. have never been on the same page since OBJ was acquired from the Giants. It just has not happened. And so I think you can find better options on your bench at best. OBJ is a flex starter. He's no longer that elite wide receiver we loved from the Big Apple. And then Juju Smith-Schuster. He returned to action last week. He was basically invisible. He had 11 yards, and that was it. The Steelers' offense is broken right now. Ben Roethlisberger looks old, and the matchup against the Broncos is not a good one. They've allowed just one touchdown and an average of five catches per game to slot receivers. So Juju needs to be on your bench. It's amazing that this Steelers' offense, which was so great last year, had so many good fantasy options, now is down to Deontay Johnson and Najee Harris and maybe Chase Claypool when he comes back. Cortland Sutton and Allen Robinson also make the sit list for Michael Fabiano. It's a really good article, guys. You do not want to miss this one. Head over right now to SA.com fantasy to get all Michael Fabiano's start sits at the wide receiver position.